So today's topic is about the optical cross of the retinoscopy. We have recorded many lectures regarding the optical cross of the retinoscopy. We have recorded many lectures, many videos regarding the retinoscopic procedures. But this specific video is about the common mistakes and common confusions while we are establishing the optical cross of the retinoscopy. And these common mistakes or confusions are done by students oftenly while they are performing the retinoscopy or optical cross of the retinoscopy. So you know that there are two different methods, there are two specific methods while we are establishing the optical cross of the retinoscopy. And in this video, we are going to learn those two procedures or techniques of the optical cross of the retinoscopy. Suppose this is our first optical cross, right? And our first neutral point at 90 meridian or vertical meridian is plus four and at fellow meridian the neutral point is plus three so the first concept regarding the optical cross of the retinoscopy is we have to deduct the working distance from both of the meridians from both of the neutral points right so our first neutral point is plus four second neutral point is plus three so we have to deduct the working distance suppose the working distance was 67 centimeter and you know the conversion 67 centimeter means 1.5 diopters we have discussed already about the working distance conversion so working distance is 67 centimeter it means that we performed retinoscopy from 67 centimeter and when we convert 67 centimeter into diopteric form the value is 1.5 right the formula is d is equal to 1 over f right so 1 over f is 67 centimeter so to convert it centimeter to meter it would be 100 over 67 then the answer would be 1.49 diopters and we can consider it as 1.5 diopters right so our working distance is 1.5 diopters so the first method was of the optical cross of the retinoscopy is we have to deduct the working distance from both of the neutral points so we will deduct working distance from the neutral points right from both of the neutral points actually so when we deduct 1.5 working distance from plus 4 the answer would be plus 2.5 right and when we deduct 1.5 from plus 3 the answer would be 1.5 and what about the sign actually the greater value is with the plus sign so the sign would be plus same in this this case right the greater value is with the plus sign so we will put plus sign over here so now we have deduct the working distance from both of the neutral points right and we can take one of them as spherical suppose we take plus 2.5 as our spherical correction and now for the cylinder we have to measure the distance between two these values we have to make a difference of these two values right so if we approach from plus 2.5 to plus 1.5 right the answer would be 1.00 diopters right because the difference between two these values is 1 right so what about the sign of the cylinder so this is actually the cylinder so if we want to find the cylinder we have to find the difference of two these values right so the, what about the sign now sign of the cylinder so from plus 2.5 we are moving towards 1.5 right we are actually moving from greater plus to lower plus it means we are moving towards the minus so if we go plus 1.5 and further plus 1 then plus 0 0.5 then plus 0 0.25 and then 0 and then minus right we are actually moving towards the minus direction we have to take care of the direction so we are actually moving towards the minus direction so the sign would be of minus and what about the axis of the cylinder the axis would be we take plus 2.5 as our spherical so and spherical is at 90 meridian so the axis of the meridian would be 90 degree so this is our cylinder and these are axis of the cylinder so this is our final prescription you can note it down plus 2.5 spherical with minus 1 cylinder at 90 degree this is our final retinoscopic prescription 
of the specific eye right and now we are going to measure another method of the same prescription so our final prescription is plus 2.5 minus 1 cylinder at 90 degree so plus 2.5 is spherical correction minus 1 is cylinder and axes are 90 degree right so you have to keep it in mind that in this procedure or in this technique we deduct working distance from both of the meridians you can see right and now we will discuss another prescription another technique of this prescription right again we have plus 4 neutral point at 90 degree we have plus 3 neutral point at 180 degree working distance is 1.5 67 centimeter the same right you know very well working distance is 1.5 now in the last procedure in the last technique we deduct 1.5 working distance from both of the meridians but in this case we, we will deduct working distance from only one neutral point suppose we will deduct this 1.5 working distance from only one neutral point which is plus 4 right and when we will deduct we are not going to deduct working distance from here from another working from an, another neutral point so when we will deduct 1.5 from plus 4 the answer would be the same plus 2.5 now we are not going to deduct 1.5 working distance from this neutral point right so what will happen how we can find the cylinder then right so when we will deduct 1.5 working distance from neutral point plus 4 the answer is plus 2.5 so you have to consider this is important you have to consider this plus 2.5 as your spherical so we can write already write plus 2.5 as our spherical correction and now we have to find our cylinder and how we can find our cylinder with this procedure through this procedure by this procedure so to find the cylinder you take this plus 2.5 as spherical and if you want to find the cylinder you have to forget about the plus 2.5 now you if you want to find the cylinder you have to get you have to make a difference between plus 4 and plus 3 the original neutral points right to find this again to find the cylinder with this procedure you have to find you have to make a difference you have to create a difference between these two values the original neutral points the original neutral points at 90 degree was plus 4 and the original working distance at 180 degree was plus 3 so you have to create a difference you have to move from plus 4 to plus 3 you have to make a difference from plus 4 to plus 3 and you know very well that the difference between plus 4 and plus 3 is 1 right so this is our cylinder right so we can simply write that 1.00 is our cylinder and what about the sign of the cylinder actually you are moving from bigger plus to lower plus so it means you are moving towards the minus direction so the sign would be of minus and what about the axis our spherical correction was at 90 degree you can see 2.5 is at 90 degree so the axis of the cylinder would be 90 degree if you remember the last final prescription that was the same and that was plus 2.5 with minus one cylinder at 90 degree so it's your choice that what kind of procedure procedure you want to imply either you want to deduct the working distance from both of these neutral points you can the answer would be the same or according to this procedure or this technique you want to deduct working distance from only one meridian you can see over here but the difference is you deduct 1.5 working distance from one meridian and the answer would be plus 2.5 and that would be the spherical correction and to find the cylinder you have to create a difference from the original neutral neutral points like plus 4 was our original neutral point and plus 3 was our original neutral points when you will make a difference between two these values the answer would be the cylinder right and axis would be where our spherical lies so spherical lies at 90 degree so 90 degree would be our axis of the cylinder and now let's discuss about another example of the two same procedures two different procedures actually so let's make a difference 
so our first condition was the same minus 4 and here minus 3 so these are our two neutral points we are following procedure number one right in which we have to deduct the working distance distance from both of the meridians right so both of the neutral points actually so first neutral point is minus 4 second neutral point is minus 3 so according to first procedure our working distance is 1.5 diopters 67 centimeter actually right so we have to deduct 1.5 from this meridian from this neutral point and we have to deduct the working distance from this neutral point as well so you know that minus and minus will give plus so minus 4 if if, if we will add 1.5 into minus 4 algebraically then the answer would be minus 5.50 right and the sign would be of the minus because the minus is with the greater value and what about this meridian now you know that when we will add plus 1.5 into minus 3 or we can say if we add minus 1.5 into minus 3 algebraically the answer would be minus 4.5 so our first value is at 90 degrees minus 5.5 and at 180 degree is 4.5 so we can take its our choice we can take our spherical as 5.5 or 4.5 so we take our spherical as 5.50 so this is our spherical right and to find the cylinder you know that according to this procedure according to this technique you have to create a difference you have to move from minus 5.50 to minus 4.50 right so the answer would be you can sim simply the answer would be 1 right if we deduct you can say 4.5 from 5.5 the answer is 1 so what about the sign of the cylinder so this is our cylinder as I said to find the cylinder you have to create a difference between two of these values right so the difference between two of these values is 1 and what about the sign we are actually moving from greater minus to lower minus right minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 and then plus we are actually moving toward the plus direction so the sign of the cylinder would be in plus right and what about the axis the same our spherical correction we take 5.5 as our spherical correction and 5.5 is at 90 degree though 90 is our axis so this is our cylinder and these are our axis of the cylinder so this is first procedure this is first technique and according to this technique we have deducted 1.5 working distance from both of the neutral points now the second one the values are the same first neutral point is minus 4 and second is minus 3 so according to this technique or procedure we have to deduct working distance from only one meridian right and we will deduct 1.5 or we will add algebraically 1.5 into minus 4 and we are not going to change this value this neutral point so minus 4 and minus 1.5 they will add they will add up algebraically and the answer would be minus 5.50 right and you know that this resultant value right if you want to find the spherical correction you have to deduct working distance from this value from this neutral point and the answer would be spherical so minus 5.50 is our spherical correction now spherical is done right and now we have to find the cylinder to find the cylinder you have to take the original neutral points and minus 4 is our original neutral point and minus 3 are original neutral points we have to create a difference between two of these values and the difference between minus 4 and minus 3 you know very well if you have 4 rupees if you have 4 dollars and if i take 3 dollars from you then you will have only 1 dollar so 1 dollar is our cylinder so if we deduct 3 from 4 the answer would be 1 and what about the sign of the cylinder so we are actually moving from greater minus to lower minus we are actually moving toward the plus sign plus direction so answer would be in plus so 
what about this axis of the cylinder now we take 5.5 as our spherical correction as you can see here and to find the axis the spherical correction is at 90 degree so 90 would be our axis this is cylinder these are axis so as you can see here the final prescription is the same in this case when we will deduct working distance from both of the meridians and the final prescription is same when we deduct working distance from one meridian so these are two different methods two different procedures two different techniques while we are performing or establishing the optical cross of the retinoscopy but finally your prescription should be the same in both of the cases either you choose this procedure or you choose this procedures your final prescription should be the same right and your first responsibility being a good optometrist being a good clinician that you must take good decisions while you are performing retinoscopy like in regarding your reflexes the with movement or against movement if you are choosing uh, horizontal meridians or vertical meridians or oblique meridians you have to be very careful and after that your responsibility is to take the finalized good and best corrected prescription for your patient so i hope both of the procedures are well inculcated in your mind we'll see you in the next videos